Okay, so let's solve this problem. So to find the solution of the system of nonlinear equations, so from this given, first we need to transform this equation. So write this equation in a standard form. Since this one is an ellipse, so group all x. So this becomes 9x squared plus 18x, then group all y, so plus 4y squared minus 16y, then equals 11. Then we need to put this number outside, so we have 9, so this becomes x squared plus this 18 divided by 9, so this one is 2x plus put this number outside so this becomes y squared minus this 16 divided by 4 so that's 4y then equals 11 then do completing the squared so for x we have 2 divide that by 2 take this squared so this one is 1 and 1 squared, that's 1. And for y, so this 4, divide by 2, take this squared. So 4 divided by 2, that's 2 squared equals 4. Then add these numbers. So we have now 9 times x squared plus 2x for x plus 1, then plus... 4y squared minus 4y then 4y plus 4 then equals 11 then plus multiply these two numbers 9 times 1 so plus 9 times 1 then plus 4y 4 times 4 so we have 4 times 4 then do the factoring, so we have y times x squared, that's x times x, since this one is positive, so plus, and for 1, that's 1 times 1, then to the power 2. Then plus 4y, so we have 4 times y squared, that's y times y, since negative, so minus and 4, that's 2 times 2, then to the power 2. Equals, so simplify this number. So this 11 plus 9, that's 20. And this 4 plus 4, this one is 16. So 20 plus 16, so this one is 36. So this is now the new equation number 1. And this one is equation number 2. Then comparing these two equations, observe that we have like terms. So for equation number 2, we have this quantity of y minus 2 to the power 2. And for equation number 1, we also have this y minus 2 quantity to the power 2. So therefore, on this case, since quantity of y minus 2 to the power 2 is equal to 9 times x plus 2, so we can substitute this equation to this y minus 2 quantity to the power 2. So we need to replace this y minus 2 to the power 2 by this equation. So this becomes 9 times x plus 1 then to the power 2 plus 4 times this equation 9 times x plus 2 then equals 36. Then simplify, so this becomes 9 times, so we can write this one twice, 
So, x plus 1 times x plus 1, then plus 4 times 9 times x, this one is 9x, 9 times 2, this one is 18, then equals 36. Then simplify, so we have 9 times this x times x, that's x squared, then x times 1, that's x, so plus x, and 1 times x, so this one is positive x, and 1 times 1, that's 1, then plus this 4 times 9x, that's 36x, and 4 times 18, that's 72, so plus 72, then transpose, this positive 36 becomes negative 36, then equals 0. Then simplify, so this becomes 9 times x squared plus x plus x, this one is 2x, then plus 1, then plus 36x, this 72 minus 36, that's positive, 36, then equals 0. Then multiply this 9 times x squared. This one is 9x squared. And 9 times 2x, that's positive 18x. And 9 times 1, that's positive 9. Then plus 36x plus 36 equals 0. Then combine like terms, so we have 9x squared plus this 18 plus 36, that's 54x, and this 9 plus 36, so plus 45, then equals 0. Then observe, for the numerical coefficient or the numbers, we have 9, 54 and 45 all divisible by 9 so we need to reduce so divide by 9 divide by 9 so we have now x squared plus 54 divided by 9 6x plus this 45 divided by 9 that's 5 then equals 0 so, to solve now for the values of x, since this one is a quadratic equation, so using the factoring, so equal 0, so this one is x squared, so x, and x, and for 5, the factors of 5 that when you add, that's positive 6, so therefore that's 5 and 1. And this one all positive. So to solve now for the values of x, so equate these factors to 0. So x plus 5 equals 0. Then we have x plus 1 equals 0. So therefore x is equal to transpose negative 5. Then the other one, so x equals transpose that's negative 1 so x is negative 5 and x is negative 1 then to solve now for y so to solve for y so from this equation so from y minus 2 squared equals 9 times x plus 2. So starts with x, so at x equals negative 5. So this becomes y minus 2 squared equals 9 times x is negative 5, so negative 5 plus 2. So expand this one, so this becomes 
y minus 2 and y minus 2 equals negative 5 plus 2. This one is negative 3. And 9 times negative 3, that's negative 27. Then simplify this equation. So we have y squared negative 2y negative 2y that's positive 4 then transpose this negative 27 that becomes positive 27 then equals 0 then uh, combine like terms so this one is y squared negative 4y and this one is positive 31, then equals 0. Then since for this quadratic equation, we cannot use the factoring, so we're going to use the quadratic formula. So that's negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Then substitute now the values. So for this given, b is negative 4. So negative, negative 4 plus minus square root of b squared is negative 4. Then squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 31. So this one is c. This is B, and this one is A. So, all over 2 times 1, because A is 1. Then, simplify. So, observe that on this equation, if we're going to simplify, so this negative times negative, this one is positive, then plus minus, Square root of this negative 4 squared, this one is 16. Then negative 4 times 1, that's negative 4. And negative 4 times 31, that's negative 124. Then over 2. So again, observe from this equation inside the radical, this 16 minus negative 124. The answer is negative. So therefore, we come up with the square root of negative numbers. And for the square root of negative numbers, this one is imaginary. So in this case, if x equals negative 5, this equation has no solution. Because again, square root of negative numbers are imaginary. Then this time, solve for x equals negative 1. So for x now equals negative 1. Again, from this equation, so we have y minus 2 to the power 2 equals 9 times x, x is negative 1, then plus 2. So expand this one, so this becomes y squared negative 4y plus 4 equals, so this negative 1 plus 2, that's 1, and 9 times 1, that's 9. Then simplify, so we have y squared minus 4y plus 4 transpose that's negative 9 equals 0 then we have now y squared minus 4y this positive 4 minus 9 that's negative 5 then equals 0 so we can solve this quadratic equation by factoring so we have y squared so we have y and y and for 5, this one is 5, this is 1. Since the middle term is negative, so therefore the bigger number must be negative. So this one is negative and this one is positive. Because negative 5 plus 1, 
that's negative 4. And negative 4 is the middle term. So to solve now for y, equate these factors to 0. So we have y minus 5 equals 0. And the other one, y plus 1 equals 0. So therefore, y is equal to positive 5. Then the other one, y equals transpose negative 1. So therefore, the solution of this nonlinear equation, so if x is negative 1, y is positive 5, and if x is also negative 1, y is negative 1. So this is now the solution of this nonlinear equation.